So, um, this is my second video, and I got some people to watch my first video. Um, so I have some cards that I'm willing to either sell or trade if you want to. Um, so my first card would be this Gavin Lux Ricky card. Not numbered or anything, just regular Gavin Lux Ricky. And it is a Panini card. As you can see, Gavin Lux. Pretty cool card. This is a base card. I'll probably sell this for a buck if anyone wants it. Just a nice Nolan Arenado. Nothing special about it. I just like Nolan. There's a Reese Hoskins Legend in the making. I'll probably sell that for four bucks if anyone wants it for... Actually, maybe like five. Obsidian. This one's just nice. I mean, I, I'm not expecting anyone to want that card. Boba Fett, maybe a couple bucks for that. Uh, maybe like uh, three bucks for this. Bobby Bradley. Um, and then this. I can't say his name perfectly, but it's 7 out of 25. Sorry that I can't see it perfectly. Uh, Yoshihimo Tsutsugo, I believe. Uh, and it's his rookie card. So I'll sell that for maybe five bucks. And these are the more expensive cards coming up. This one I'll sell for 10. It's a Boba Shet Freshman Flash Rookie right there. That's a nice one. Probably one of my favorites. Um, this Tatis Junior Rookie card from last year. It's last year's Fire design. Um, it's a pretty nice card. I'll probably sell that for mm, maybe like 15 bucks. This one is Blake Snell. I always put my thumb on the Rookie card symbol. So there's a Rookie card symbol of Blake Snell. Um... I'll sell that for maybe 12, 12 bucks if anyone wants a 12 buck Blake Snell. Next one is an AJ Puck Unparalleled card. By the way, if you guys want any of these, just comment. Oh, uh, by the way, that AJ Puck I won't be selling for much. You guys can ask me if you guys want a deal on any of these as so, well. Uh, this Mickey Mantle card is 1962. Pretty nice card. Uh, not worth money though because it is obviously a reprint. Maybe, I looked it up on eBay and that card is like maybe five bucks at the most. Um, here's another one of this Hitsugo rookie cards. That one's not numbered though. Here's an Eloy rookie card. Eloy Jimenez on the White Sox rookie card. Unparalleled too. Um, here's a Sean Murphy rookie card. By the way, those last two, uh, the Eloy, I'll probably sell for 20 bucks, and the Sean Murphy card, I'll probably sell for maybe 10 Alright, um, here's the Rookie Materials card. Maybe $8? $8. I'll sell the Rookie Roundup Cleveland Indians card for, uh, Bo Bobby Bradley, by the way, for maybe... Mmm, five bucks. Tyron Taylor rookie card. It's not really that favorable. Maybe like three dollars. Here's a Julio Rodriguez. Sorry, you can't see the name. It's really hard to see the names on these cards. It's like right above. It's like a ghost. So it's Julio Rodriguez from Seattle. That's a prospect card. Um. Here's a Clint Frazier rookie card. I'll sell that for maybe eight bucks. Here is a Clayton Kershaw, and the reason this one is in there, not only is he going to be a Hall of Famer, it's out of it's numbered out of one ninety nine. You guys can't see that, but it's forty six out of one ninety nine. Here's a Crusade. Um, that would be a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. card. Nice card. Um, and then we got this Shogioko Akiyama card, unparalleled, rookie card. I'll probably sell this one for like $4. This one, maybe 7 bucks. I mean, it has an auto on it, so that's the only reason why it's... If this was just like a first Bowman without the auto, probably like a couple bucks. But the auto puts the money a little bit higher. And then this is the last card. It is a Jordan Alvarez season ticket rookie card. So those are all my cards right here. Uh, if you want to trade or 
If you want to buy any off me, you can ask me the price in the comments, unless I already said it. And actually, I have some other cards, but most of these aren't the best. Oh, there's some. Okay, um, yeah, okay, so, there's this Jordan Alvarez Chrome card. That's not, I mean, maybe like a couple bucks, it's not the best. This one, not even, not even a dollar. Um, literally, I could do that in like a one dollar lot. I could give you like four of those type cards for a dollar. This one, oh my gosh, I'm really not looking to sell this one right now. Um, I'm not even looking for a price. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Zach Collins rookie card, mm, be like, I don't know, like ten bucks. Here's another one. This would go with the D Gordon. Like, if you guys wanted, I could do. I could actually do, if you wanted, I could do Jordan Alvarez rookie card, D. Gordon, and the Salvador Perez. So two parallels and one Topps Chrome rookie. I could probably do those combined for three bucks if you wanted. Three bucks for those. Just comment if you want the deal. Combine those cards on eBay, probably go for like five bucks. So, I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Here's a couple short prints. I'll sell these combined for a dollar. Um, they're short prints because they go over 400, and any card over 400 on Heritage is a short, short print. If you can see, this is 426, and this one says 412. So, those two can definitely be sold together. So... This one is a Luis Robert rookie card, and that is a magnitude. That's a pretty nice card. Unparalleled Mike Trout card, which is really good. I'll probably sell that for 11 bucks, maybe 12 Oh, sorry, guys. Right, that accidentally fell. All right, we're back. Okay, so here is a Walker Bueller rookie card. That's a nice card. I'll probably sell that for maybe, like, 16 bucks. Oh, I could also do this one in the in this one. So I could do if you guys wanted Starling Marte, this parallel, the Topps Chrome Jordan Alvarez rookie card, and then these two purple parallel cards. I could do that to combined for five bucks. I could do that combined for five bucks if you wanted. Alright, and these are like the last of my cards. We're getting down to the bottom. Uh, just getting them ready. Okay. So we'll start with this one. This is probably my favorite card. Probably my one of my favorites that I have. I'm a big White Sox fan, so that's why I'm not really selling that Eloy. But this is another card. Like, I'm going to need like 50 bucks for this one, and I don't think anyone wants to buy that. So I'll keep that, unless anyone sell it, wants that for 50 bucks. But here's an Aristides Aquino rookie card. That is the certified version of him. This one, um, 25 bucks. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie. Heritage. And this is an Alec Bohm, maybe 5 bucks for that. Alec Bohm prospect. And there's an unparalleled Aristides Aquino rookie card. Maybe. Maybe ten bucks for that? Nah. He actually cooled off a lot, so maybe like six bucks. This one, I'm going like twelve bucks for this Kyle Lewis rookie card. That's another um what is that called? Mazak Maz Mizoic, something like that. Here's a Mickey Mano home run four ninety three. I think that was one of his last home runs. I think that might have been his last home run. I'm not positive. And then this last one that I have is a Zach Collins base rookie card. And I'll sell that for maybe a couple bucks. So, uh, these are all my cards. If you guys want any, just comment. I will be doing a little bit of a down payment on some of these. Like, maybe I'll do a giveaway for these. The Starring Marte. Stop Chrome Alvarez, this Salvador Perez, and this D Gordon. Maybe I'll do something like that. But 
Um, if you want this right now, I'll have it. You can buy it for five bucks if you want it. Okay. And then this card, I'm not selling. Either way, platinum. And any of those cards, you guys can hit me up in the comments, and I will reply to every comment. So thanks, guys.